Hooray! Welcome back to another video. Today we're back in my restaurant, and I'm really sad. Um, I've caged for about seven hour, eight hours. I got about fifty-five thousand, and then I AFK'd for about another eight hours, and I only got ten thousand. The lag in this game is just too big that. It's clearly that there's just a point where you just stop earning customers because there's so much lag. And I didn't have a chance to get out of my way, stupid. That there's just, you know, points where it's just everything. It's There's just too many people and it, it just lags so bad. And I didn't have a chance to leave and rejoin and reset it all. So probably getting that either late late today or late tomorrow, sadly. Oh, so, I'm so annoyed. I completely blame school. So we're going over the re... re like... Redactyl's Ultimate Customer Layout, which should give a lot of money to. So we're going to go over that. Um, so let's get into it. So technically, this is for, like, you know, the best of the best. But uh, what I'm going to do is first build a nice little, like, square to make it easier for us. So give me one second. All right, so this is all the space that we should be using. So um, this is for bigger restaurants, so sorry if you don't have it. Um, so there should be coffee machines on each end, but the thing about it is, is that I don't have this many coffee machines. I only have one because I don't play enough. So I'm gonna end up placing those with fillers, but if you do have a bunch of coffee machines, there should be seven on each side, so yeah. So let's start off with something kind of interesting. So um, what I'm going, where, where am I, okay. So let's place down the first row of tables. So we're just gonna wanna place them kind of like this. So, and actually, no, let's place our Christmas trees. If you don't have all Christmas trees, just place um, whatever. But apparently there is a certain point. I don't understand. There, is there a certain point they're supposed to face? Because there's a point of rotation. Like that's that one right there. So as you can see that it rotates around that point. So face it that way. And then the point of rotation is that way. And then that one is gonna go right there. And then that point of rotation is gonna go on the inside there. So they should all face on the inside, kind of like that, if that makes sense. Because you can see this point on the inside here rotates around that. So that should, that should be the corner facing towards the inside. All right. Tables, we're just gonna place a bunch like right here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. And then, we're gonna to wanna to place one right there and one right there. And then let's put the chairs with it. I like that the like the chairs they flip automatically like the right direction for all the tables. It's great. This way it makes everything so much easier. Alright, and then we can place all those there. Alright. So now it's gonna be a little interesting. I think. It's gonna so what I'm gonna do is come to appliances and these are supposed to be silverware trays. Um, I don't know, it never said, like, I don't understand if I'm supposed to use the gold ones or not. Let me double check something. Okay, so I don't know if you can use luxury ones or not, but I think I'm going to for, I don't think I'm going, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to for these, but on the other floors I think I'm going to. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I should use, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna use normal ones because that's what most people have. So we're going to place, this is gonna be a little weird. So if we face the door, uh, it should be none. There should be one right there, none, two, not one, and one there like that. And how you actually get this to work is by taking a table and like rotating it and like clicking like right away like that dang it i did not do that the right way ah this is not easy but you have to pretty much just rotate it dang it i keep doing it too early i'll be back after i get these all down i've gotten them all and oh my that was not easy so there we go, now we gotta place all of those there and all of these right there. Beautiful, and this entire spot right in the middle here where there's no one, it's all gonna just be empty space right throughout here. And now we get to fill all the rest up with anything you want to fill. I'm gonna fill mine with coffins because sometimes then I might get, you know, you know what, but I'm gonna put like my statue right there. 
And I'm sad, these things used to be like these haunted pumpkins. I bought this thing for billions and now it's worth almost nothing because you can just buy a thousand in the shop. But I'm gonna fill this the rest of this place with coffins and maybe I can get some headless horsemen in here. But yeah, um, I'll be back after filling this entire floor. All right. Oops, there's a cop. Okay, um, so for this area, what you want to do is start with one empty space right there. And then you're going to want to place six, like, six, twelve, thir like, fourteen dishwashers all facing to this center space right here. And then you're going to want to put six order stands right here. And then you're going to want to create this, like, stove pattern. So what I suggest is create putting three against here, three against this wall, three against this wall, three against this wall. Or you create a four by four box all facing in and then delete the four corners. And then just place in the nine in the middle so they're all facing this one point right here. And then just fill in the rest um, three away from this point and three away from this point. And then kind of just create a box all the way around like this and then fill in everything in except for this spot here and that spot there. And that's it for floor two. All right, so this is the next floor right here, and I just wanted to do a couple things. So I put a luxury one. You don't have to. I don't know if that's going to be better or not, but what you're going to want to do is put three tables, one away from the wall, and put in the chairs. Then from this, like, second chair, second closest to, like, the teleporter there, you want to place two more tables and then fill those with chairs, and then just, like, two away from that table, you want to put another table and then fill those chairs in. Then you'll have a two by three right here, and then you want to put your, your one luxury thing right here in the corner between the different chairs. And then here's your tree you need to find your point of rotation which is right here in that corner right there and then as you can see i put it in the corner right there closest to the middle this and then this bar right here will stay empty where they put the balloons that will coffee machines go if you have coffee machines if you don't just put in fillers so i'm just gonna leave those as like balloons and then just make a nice out by three you don't have to fill the entire room out if you don't want to now that is it and this layout will be put on four two all the way through ten and that is it for this layout. So that is literally it. It's just those three different things. And after you get those three different types of floors. So let's repeat over thing we went over. So floor one, that's this is what floor one will look like. And you'll have these different things that go through, like right here, you know. And just go back and rewatch it if you forgot how to, like, you know, get the tables to clip through. And you'll have this big empty space. Remember that the point of rotation will face in towards the middle. And then you want to fill the rest of the room. Um, I don't think I pointed this one out. I realized. I didn't till just now. Oh my gosh, this is so important. So I hope you guys realize this either when I put it on the screen or you saw it. Okay, take this chair right here, closest to the tree in front of the farthest table that's in the back here and go one, two, three, four. And on the fifth block, leave this one empty. This way, I'm pretty sure they'll walk and kind of teleport here and up to the next floor instead of actually going to the teleporter. So it's just kind of creating that little shorter distance so they don't leave and have to come in. Also, I know you can't really leave very easily, but if you want to, I think you can kind of just squeeze through by going into first person so just you know squeeze through kind of like that there we go just jump a little bit and that's how you get through all right reviewing floor two you know you got all your dishwashers to this point will stay open and then your your all your order stands and all this stuff right here to this middle point and then for floor three here it is you got your three tables your two tables your one table your th this thing and a christmas tree or and then you just filled three out i do want to say one Thing. this is made for a bigger restaurant and you guys don't have to use exactly what I use just because I use the corrupt royal does not mean you have to use the corrupt royal if you guys want to you could literally go and use the cheap chairs and tiki tables and so just like let me just like make sure I have a whole bunch of these I don't know if I have enough I know I don't have very many like cheap chairs and stuff but let me just like get plenty of these so like you can just come over here and like let's go to the next floor so floor that's where we're on floor three so floor four i haven't built it quite yet which i will you can literally just take this where my tiki tables are and you can literally just build the entire thing so this is like what i would do so just put three there one two and then one right there and then take your furniture aka your cheap chairs and then place them along here like this and then like that boom and oh are really one chair short <laughs> there we go and then if you have um where even are they they're going to be in like appliances 
right here, gadgets, silver trays. If you don't have them, it's not the end of the world because they aren't the cheapest, but then take, if you don't have a silver tray, I guess just leaving, putting in a, like, like a, something there to fill her. And then, you know, you might not have a Christmas tree because those are real books and the, and the market's down right now. So instead just take your plants and just fill in that spot. And then just, you know, fill in the three like this all the way throughout. And then just, you know, kind of take all the way like this and fill in all the empty space. And then, so it would just look like something kind of like this. And then if you really are like just starting and you have this, it would look kind of like this. So this would be the layout that you'd want to use if like, this is like the cheapest possible. And I don't even think the cherry, what is the cheapest plant actually in the game? because there's cheaper plants and then I'm pretty sure the right here, the cactus or these ones, this one's kind of cheap, expensive. So just buy a whole bunch of cacti or the bird of paradise plant. And then, you know, just fill on the outside with the cacti and stuff like that. And boom, that's easy. It's cheap. And that's your, would be your filler for all it. That's how you make it. And depending on if you're good or you're bad, you can use really anything you could be using. Just make sure you're using tables that are, four so that would require using the tables as um you could use uh where you can use a gingerbread table which are, might actually be the best because they do spawn in elves which are the fastest you can use beach tables you can use pirate tables you can use um royal tables and corrupt royal tables antique tables almost forgot you can't use something like a cheap table because the thing is is that if you use a cheap table and you put down two you'd be like oh yeah but that doesn't really work because you can see They'll come in groups of two, which will slow down because they don't come in like it's not like you're going to get two groups of two. You're going to get group of two. You're going to get pretty much half the customers if you build it like this. OK, hope that really makes sense because it, I don't know how to explain it, but you'll just get half the customers. So make sure that's not what you're doing. Hey, it's future me. Um, I realized something I forgot to say. So will you look through the video you won't see this, but I'm adding this real quick. So what you want to do is create a four by four right through here. And you'll want to really, this is really how the layout actually works. So this one isn't going to be exactly for like starters. If you want, you're going to need a lot. You're going to need a lot. Where are they? You're there. You're going to need a lot of these. So you're just going to want to place 16 of these in a corner like this and this will do something spectacular so how it works is that a certain amount of these silverware trays the more you have down the you know greater chance that a certain customer will grab them so putting these all in the corners no the customers will actually go grab them but it will give customers grabbing these almost a 100 percent chance which is just really great because you have 16 there, four here, that is 20. And that gives, I think it's like a 98 point something percent. I'll put a graph on the, like on my screen right now, which will show everything, but it is just really great. And that is kind of how it works. So that will make it so it's hundred percent. If you're using luxury ones, like I am on every other single floor, except for floor one, you don't need to do this. Okay. So like on, if I go to my floor, three as you can see i'm using the luxury one i don't need to go to the corner and put in 16 but if you are using a normal one here please go to the corner and put in 16 because that is what really helps make this thing run a lot sorry about that forgetting about this carry on past me but that is everything for this video um i hope me explaining what to use made helped you guys a lot and that is everything but yeah that's really gonna be today's video if you guys want more layouts um please hit that like and subscribe bell see you in this video um and yeah Let's leave and peace out, guys.